one of 10 children born into a farming family in Knocknacara, Ireland. Christy O'Connor first became involved in the game of golf at the age of six when he began caddying at nearby Galway Golf Club. Through tireless dedication and years of hard work, O'Connor developed a legendarily rhythmic swing as he perfected the art of clipping the ball cleanly off the turf, a method that earned him the nickname, Risty Christy. Yo, I grew up, Christy himself, O'Connor was the main man. He was a hero. He's one of the few guys that I've ever seen on the range where I've stood back and, stuff and thought it was just awesome. And this is when he was in his mid-60s, and you've never seen golf balls hit like it. Uh, he was a beautiful, beautiful player, a beautiful swinger at the golf club. Probably one of the greatest lessons he ever taught me was to get a natural swing, you've got to do a lot of work. I realised then that it wasn't that he was just given this, he put the work in, and, and it was a very important lesson for me. During a career that spanned four decades, O'Connor won 24 European Tour titles, including the British Masters in 1956 and 59. And he's got it. Right in the middle. His 20 additional international victories include 10 Irish PGA Championships. O'Connor played in every Ryder Cup from 1955 through 1971, a record 10 consecutive appearances that stood until Nick Faldo surpassed the mark in 1997. That was a big part of his career, the Ryder Cups. When you go out to Royal Dublin in the locker room where his memorabilia was, where his Ryder Cup pictures were, it's found a place to sit and, and just look as, as a kid growing up, the, the history and what he's done. And you could see that what made him the proudest was his 10 Ryder Cups. O'Connor's impact extends far beyond the fairways of the European Tour. In 1966, along with fellow golfers, he established the Lynx Golf Society, an organization that raises money for charities through golf. In the last 11 years, the organization has raised more than 10 million euros for charity. At 84, O'Connor joins Joe Carr as only the second Irishman ever to be elected to the World Golf Hall of Fame. George O'Grady rang me from London, and uh, I thought at the moment that somebody was playing a big joke on me. It, it didn't dawn to me for a moment that I was good enough to uh, have that honor, which was one of the great honors in the world. A few days afterwards, Jack Peters came along. He said, I'm over here to invite you into the Hall of Fame. So I said, well, now it's not a joke. I know this is quite all right. I would like to thank all these people who voted for me. I would like also to thank all the people who have got in touch with me since this was announced. As a matter of fact, I've been walking on air since this has happened. It's been a great thrill for me to have this at my age now, 22 and a bit. Uh, I think that maybe I would have liked if I had it, got it a little earlier. <laughs> but the point of fact is this is good as any time. Golf has been very good to me. I had opportunities that I wouldn't have got in anything else. I've traveled a good part of the world on several occasions playing golf. This alone was great experience to meet other people, to see how they behaved, how they played golf. And I enjoyed it, I must say. I was so lucky in my life. I had good health up to a certain time of my life. I was very strong, I kept myself very fit. Of course, if you're giving two, or six holes a day and then giving six or seven lessons a day at the, at the same time, that does keep you fit. I'm very sad that I can't be in the States because I would love to be there. Uh, there is a lot of friends who will be disappointed that I'm not, not there. But then again, health is something that you have got to look after. I don't want to go to some place and feel that I've left myself down or leave the people who would be good enough to have me there to let them down. That would be the worst thing for me in the world. So friends, I'm so sad that I can't be with you. 
I hope that everybody and all my friends there will have a magnificent time. And the ones that's coming in to get the honor that I'm receiving, I wish them great health, great golf, and long life.